All right, guys, we are on one of the Lumendeo sets right now. And what we're going to do here is we are going to film a simple scene and we're going to film it a bunch of different ways. And the goal of it is to show you guys different ways to film a scene using different kind of camera techniques. Uh, we're going to be talking a lot about motivated movement. So here we're going to shoot it just straight on sticks, which means the camera doesn't move at all. We're going to show you motivated movement with the camera following the actor. And then we're going to show you unmotivated movement, which is the camera's just moving there's not really a rhyme or reason to it. It's just gonna be all a part of the scene. And we're gonna show you how, uh, depending on what you do with the camera, it can create different emotions uh, when people watch it. It can make uh, energy, it can add energy to the scene, or it can make it really still and stark uh, and lifeless. And so depending on what you're trying to accomplish in telling your story, motivated movement in the camera can be a good thing or a bad thing. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna shoot the scene a couple different ways and we're gonna talk about it. All right guys, so in this first scene, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the camera on sticks, which just means it's it's on a tripod and it is not going to move. We're going to set the camera up, we're going to make sure our framing looks good, and then we're just going to leave it there in the whole shot. And so as we see the shot, what's going to happen is he comes in and he does his little thing. But notice when you're watching that as the camera doesn't move, it can provide a sense of, you know, maybe it's an ominous scene. We don't really know what's going on, but there's not a lot of emotion. It's just very stark, very clean. And we don't really know what we're supposed to look at. Your eyes are going to be wandering around the frame, looking at the different things. And as he's opening the boxes, as he's moving the ladder and so on, uh, we don't really know what's going on. And even when he finds what he's looking for, we can't really Really tell what it is because the camera's not really moving. It's just kind of setting up a shot. So it kind of works to provide a sense of, you know, maybe something bad is going to happen or uh, if he's looking for something, we don't know. I mean, is this guy working for the CIA? Is he just hungry? We don't really know what is going on because the camera is just very still, but there's not a lot of energy in the scene at all. It's just very empty, very clean. And if that's what you're going for is it's a simple little state the fact kind of shot, this is the best way to go. All right, so in this second shot, it's much like the first, but there's gonna be one little change, and that is that the camera is gonna move. And what's gonna happen is, as Andrew comes into the shot, and we see it, the camera's very still at first, nothing's really happening, and the camera's not gonna move until Andrew gets to the edge. When he gets to the edge, it's almost like as he approaches the side of the screen, the camera is going to turn and follow him. And it's kind of allowing the actor in the scene to motivate the camera to go that direction. And the reason why we're doing Doing that is because the audience is going to want to know where is he going? What's he doing? As he approaches the side of the scene, it makes you feel uncomfortable because we want to know what's, what's he doing and we don't want him to disappear. So it's almost like the camera is forcing itself to follow the actor, which is great. And then as he's going through the rest of the scene, he opens the boxes, he does the ladder and all that. But as he leaves the scene, notice that once again, the camera now follows him for a short way as though the actor is again, almost pushing the camera to follow him where he's going. And so it's motivated. The camera's not just moving for no reason. There is a reason and that is the actor is moving the camera where it needs to go. Basically our attention, where we need to be looking is following the actor and so the camera is basically doing what the director is wanting us to see which is follow the actor whatever he does wherever he goes that's where your attention should be so this is a great way to keep the audience engaged at a specific point if you're wanting to kind of cue somebody into hey this is important having a motivated camera movement is an excellent way to do that all right now this last shot we're going to talk a little bit about unmotivated movement and in this way I kind of like to call this the Jason Bourne effect which is the camera is going to be handheld it's going to be very very shaky. There's no rhyme or reason to where the camera's going. It's just it's just going to be everywhere. And so uh, as you move into the scene, we're going to have two different cameras filming this because usually when you're shooting it in this kind of style, it tends to be more episodic. And so therefore, you're going to have multiple cameras. Everyone's handheld. And there's just going to be a ton of energy. I mean, suddenly the scene that started out looking really stark is now looking very exciting. And if we added some really tense music, uh, this could be really interesting to watch. But the camera, there's really no rhyme or reason. It's just pointing to wherever we think we need to be looking. So it's almost like the camera has a mind of its own. It's just kind of going wherever. And it can be a great way to put energy into a scene, but at the same time, if you do this long enough, it might make you seasick in the audience. And so handheld is a great way to bring in energy, a great way to uh, kind of, you know, make some excitement with the scene that's, you know, whatever's going on. At the same time, you want to be really careful that you don't shoot the whole thing like this because it can just wear you out watching something like this. It'll make you tired and, if, and on a big screen, it'll make you sick. So you need to just be careful that if you're doing this, that the reason why is that you're trying to create some energy, you're trying to create some excitement in the scene. And as long as you're doing that, handheld is a great way to go, uh, but just be careful how you use it.